What's going on, people? YouTube, Masculinish here, bringing you another quick little unboxing and sort of a review of this Ocean Shadow Wireless Xbox One controller. This is the new style, which is the, they dub it the Xbox One S controllers, so it does include the 3.5mm jack on the bottom, and it is absolutely, absolutely fantastic for PC gaming. So you can use this on the PC because it's got the Bluetooth inside. So here's what it looks like. Trust me, it looks so much better in person. And we can flip it up on this side. We got a little bit of detail down at the bottom. Basically just some some warnings and stuff like that. Get some more information. You read the instructions on this side. We got what it comes with. It uh, it does come with uh, the controller and two, uh, two batteries, two AAA batteries, which is nice that they include that special edition wireless controller down at the bottom xbox one and windows bluetooth use requires windows 10 for use without bluetooth on windows 10 whatever whatever adapters require which is the cable that you plug into the top of this which will give you the capability to play on your pc so on the back we just got some more information there's another angle of the controller wireless controller whatever elevate your game such and such stay on target with texture grip also includes bluetooth for gaming on windows 10 devices now this texture grip they are talking about is actually one of the best things they could have done to the xbox one controller because the old style xbox one controllers they were really slippery on the back but now that they include this grip which is going to be really hard to show you what it looks like but uh, I'll explain a little bit in detail where the texture grip is too. So let's go ahead and crack this open. I've already broke the seal. I've actually already opened this once to put my joystick. I've already actually opened this once to put my joysticks on. So there it is, man. It's just, it's just wicked. Okay, so as you can see, there's my, my joysticks there. I like to put these joysticks on so I can control... Uh, can... can um, preserve the joystick that's underneath because I've had uh, Xbox One controller joysticks wear out on me there's a battery and then there's nothing underneath this other than just some paperwork and stuff like that right there boring so we'll go ahead and get this box out of the way and have a better look at this controller so here is the controller it is absolutely absolutely beautiful to look at and hold it is absolutely, absolutely wicked. Like, see the shine on it? It's like probably one of the best controllers I've seen. Like, it's just wicked. And then up here, the buttons, uh, this button has changed a little bit. And over here, there is no uh, color for the A, B, Y, X buttons. But of course, you know, you can see in the middle, in the middle right there, there is some, uh, some indication to show you which color corresponds with each button and down here is the d-pad which they have a complete uh, glossy black it would have been cool if it was matte black but I'm not gonna complain flip it up like this and you can see the standard uh, proprietary port for the Xbox controller and then over here is a 3.5 millimeter jack I don't know why they didn't take this route to begin with in the first place considering that this garbage absolute 100% garbage this much better and now we're in, now in this day and age we have to fight to keep a 3.5 millimeter jack on our favorite devices which shouldn't be a thing wireless will never be wired hands down never and if it does it's going to be a nice long time before the quality from a 3.5 millimeter jack reaches the quality of wireless or this crap right there like that that they should just make away with this completely so I have my my other Xbox One controller. This is my day one edition controller that I got when I got the console. Uh, very very minimal use on this controller because it's literally the only thing that they give you to signify that you bought this console on day one. Uh, so as you can see, put this up here like this. The uh, the main differences are these, of course, and then of course the D-pad, and then 
course this one doesn't have the 3.5 millimeter jack on it, which is sad. So now if I flip this over, I'll do the same on this side too. You can see this part right here. Over here it's uh, it's black. This is the, the the shadow ocean blue, or the ocean shadow. And in here, this is where they have the texture grip. So if I hold this in my hand, like this, I can feel the grip along here, which is a definite, definite big improvement over this. Because this is just extremely, you can hold it, mind you, like there's no, like there's no define that you can't hold this controller, but it's just really slippery as opposed to this with the grips on the back. And it's kind of really hard to show the grip, but just know it's there. And it's a welcome addition to the to these Xbox One controllers. And then you can just get a little idea of the differences between the two of these controllers. This is certainly going to be used every day. This one is going to go up on my shelf in a thing where it'll sit like this and be displayed. But there's not really too much you can say about a controller, so I'm going to leave this video here. If you like this video, make sure you like this video. And if you want to... Uh, if you have any questions at all about this uh, this controller, let me know, and I can explain as best as I can down in the comments below. If you want to see some more of my videos, you can go ahead and hit the subscribe button. As I said, this controller is pretty freaking sweet. Wicked color. This is my first custom, uh, custom controller besides this one for my uh, Xbox One. I mean, the Xbox One's been out now for four years. So this is going to be treated with, you know, care and, and love <laughs> as much as you can treat a controller. And as always... I'm Masculinish, and I'll see you guys in the next video.